This is Linda Sadgas from ScrappersGuide.com here to tell you about the changes and new features of Photoshop Elements 8. In this video I'll demonstrate how to use the Recompose tool. The Recompose tool is one of the fun new tools in Photoshop Elements 8. It allows you to change the composition of a photo without losing the important details. So let's try it out. The Recompose tool is nested with the Crop tool. When you click on it, you get a dialog box that explains what to do. It's pretty simple though. Click and drag from handles around the photo and see if the automatic function works. If it doesn't, then these instructions tell you what to do. Let's try the automatic function first. I'll click and drag from a side handle. We'll try to move this couple closer together. And there will come a point when they start getting maybe a little bit too thin. So let's move them back out. Now they look natural and actually that's pretty good. I'll go ahead and click on the green check mark to accept that. And then I'll control click in Windows or command click on a Mac on the thumbnail of the photo in the Layers panel. And then I'll choose Image Crop to crop the photo to the new size. And finally I'll choose Select Deselect. Let's try a different kind of photo. We'll try the automatic mode first. I'll click on a side handle and begin to drag inward. And it's looking pretty good. But at this point, this person right here starts getting a little bit weird looking. These other three are doing okay, but this one is not. So I'm going to cancel out of this. And this time I'll get the protect brush. It's up in the options bar. It's the green brush. You can click and drag an outline around a person to protect them. We'll protect her shoes there and come all the way around and complete the circle. The other way you can protect someone is to make your brush larger by pressing the right bracket key. And then you can just brush over them. Sometimes it's easier just to do that. Do that on the second image and on this last one. So everything we have highlighted in green, the program knows this is what we need to protect. Let's try it again. I'll click on the little side handle and drag inward. And notice this gal on the right is not being distorted this time. We'll just keep moving in. Just a little bit more perhaps. And that looks pretty good. We've gone from a horizontal photo to a vertical photo. There might be a spot or two that I would want to clone to look just right, but really this is quite impressive. Click on the green check mark to accept it. Then control click in Windows or command click on a Mac on the thumbnail of the photo layer in the Layers panel to get a selection outline. Choose Image, Crop, and that will crop it to the size of the photo and now you can choose Select, Deselect. Be sure to save it with a new name so you don't overwrite the original file. So that is the new Recompose tool in Photoshop Elements 8. This video lesson was taken from my DVD-ROM Learn Digital Scrapbooking which has over six hours of training. You can get this training free inside the Photoshop Elements 8 box for Windows at Costco. It should be available starting about mid-October 2009. Look for my name, Linda Sadcast, on the label. If you don't have access to Costco or Costco Online, or if you're a Mac user, you can find the same training at my website, scrappersguide.com.